Hello, my lovely Aquarius. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Aquarius, today we'll do your reading for this weekend. From the time you view this video or from the 10th going to the 13th of July, loves. Sun, Moon, Rising signs and Venus signs for all of you. And as well, probably you know or you don't, Mercury goes direct this weekend on the July 12th. No more retrograde loves, no more delays, no more so much confusion. There is kind of a, open up a new portal. Let's see here, Aquarius, what we got for you, who you are running this weekend and what we need to know in this energy. And as well, Aquarius, as you know, this energy is might be for just a weekend for many of you might be even bigger so take what resonates mostly with you leave what doesn't and as well this is for sun moon rising signs and venus signs many times i might speak directly to you aquarius many times i might speak directly with the cross watcher let's see here my loves today i'm using the daily guidance oracle angels cards Let's see here what's the messages from the oracles and of course what the Gilita Royale speaks to us. We have let your past go. Somebody here is still struggling to let go something here and once you leave whatever was behind there is coming the joy. Here you are loves, yes and underneath we have noticed the science there is a lot a lot of things coming towards you you just need to be aware of them but something here needs to let it go the burden of carting your pass around has made you wary dear one it's time to set this burden down keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind you don't want it or need it and is now gone once you let go something here from the past Aquarius there is joy coming for you which this is the ultimate vibration the highest vibration in this world Many of you, once you go in the joy position, in a joy vibration, there is, as you probably know, the, this energy brings you the love of your life. And many times the joy energy brings the twin flames. The twin flames will appear to you not when you are very way down, but it's way where you'll be way high up. Keep in mind that, Aquarius, okay? But there is something here. Definitely you need to let it go. Past energy. For some of you, you might leave a soulmate energy. You might not see this. For some of you, you might, you might need to leave, you know, something here. You experience it in your childhood. I feel here for some of you, you have something from your childhood coming up. And it's kind of haunting you over this time. And whatever you want to do... It's keeping you going back, backwards, okay? And many of you who do have or had a very good childhood, I feel here there's not this message for you. Keep in mind, my loves, take what is yours, leave what doesn't. Because some of you might feel like, well, I am happy in my relationship. Well, I had a very happy childhood. And believe me, loves, this message is not for you if you had that. All right, because I do read all your comments, loves, and I see a lot of you might see like, no, this is not me, this is not my family, this is not my love, I'm perfectly happy. And the tarot readings are not for you, especially these messages, okay? If you are happy, then why you watch something to make you unhappy? Probably you're not watching the, the right person or the right medium, the right tarot reader, the right clairvoyant, okay? Because some of you might feel like, you know, I have this, I have that. If you watching, especially me, you definitely need something to learn, to take action towards, or to just basically be aware of something, what's coming for you. And sometimes could be a very great energy, sometimes might not be. And 
that's how how goes i cannot control i'm just the vessel i'm just the messenger in here all right loves keep in mind that and i want to not be misunderstood by you loves all right because i always want the best I feel here there is an Aquarius here that definitely will take this seriously and move forward. Will leave something here behind. For some of you, you want to change the location where you are living right now for something new. It's kind of a new life, a new me, basically. And I feel here once you do that, look, Four of Wands has been spoken. Four of Wands, this is a twin flame energy. There is a a new beginning in a better way for some of you you might move to a very good friend friend for some of you you might move forward towards the new love for some of you you might move with the family and this might happen on the new moon as you know the, the new moon it's coming on july 20th all right there is a good energy whatever you are going right now wherever you are moving there is a very benefit, benefit energy coming up. Okay, loves. Wow. All right, let's see here. Something here, it's done and over. It's behind you. It's not in front of you. It's behind you. King of Wands, Fire Energy, Page of Wands. Well, even it's over between you two, Aquarius, there will be still some sort of communication one month this is my timing card and the cups are about months one month within one month there is movement yes there is a new new chapter you are transforming love there is transformation into something new going towards something new and you see here how you've been staying in something you didn't like it whatever you've been offering here but I feel here you you might be staying this three of uh, four of cups energy for quite a while because something here ended and did the end heavy was very heavy for you. But I feel here now you take a chance because death is something gone and something new comes up. You cannot control this loves. You cannot control this. Anyway, it is coming. Okay. I see Scorpio, I see fire sign right here. You know, you know, you very clearly know where you need to go. Ace of Swords, there is a new beginning. As you know, after the 10 comes the Ace. You know that something here is done and over. Don't stick with that because it's no good for, for you, it's not good for your future, and it's not good for anybody here. And Spirit says, don't lie to yourself here. Don't lie to yourself. You know the truth, you know to move forward. Also, I feel here there is an Aquarius who loves the trust in people here. Slowly, slowly moving forward. Earth energy, Virgo energy right here could be Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. So here we are, loves. I see fire, I see a Scorpio, and I see a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but this is my Virgo card. Slowly, slowly, and control moving forward towards something new okay even this person who betrayed you or whatever done to you they will come back around to you i don't feel it's kind of for you it's done and over okay and i feel here there is somebody here on the horizon but spirit says yes you might not trust this person or you might not really think they are good to you but there is a very good and legit opportunity for you to have something awesome. It's kind of see the bigger picture, see who you truly are and trust that not everybody is who you've been with, okay? That's what I feel here for an Aquarius. Let's see here. Ten of Swords energy here. Ten of Swords. There was a sneaky energy here. Somebody here got away. Seven of Swords. There was somebody here engaging with other stuff. And as you see here, there is a fox here. It's kind of they they didn't got away without you noticing. 
it's kind of the a very good liar somebody who even believe in their lies four of cups page of pentacles there is somebody new and i feel here this earth sign comes to you you might not really believe that they are good to you but there is new love here five of swords why you don't believe it here that is something new here strength Spirit says you don't believe because you don't feel that you can overcome whatever is out there. You cannot overcome or trust again into the people. There is something here about trust. Somebody here is kind of they took your kindness for your weakness, basically. But Spirit says stay strong because there is something better. Nine of Pentacles and the confidence. That you are not good, that you are this, that you are that, that everybody can be there for you and not, and things like that. Get that strength back in you and confidence, because you are bigger than you think you are. You are stronger than you think you are. You are more confident than you think you are, and you are more able than you ever you think you can, okay? This is a very strong message here for the Aquarius here who... It's kind of lost the trust and it's kind of, I don't even trust myself. Uh-uh. Only the person you can trust is you, especially in this case. Death energy here. You, you kind of don't see this new beginning because you feel like there is so hard. There is a kind of an energy like, I cannot move. It's so hard, this move. And for some of you, definitely, when it's something new, when you start something new, there's a transformation. And when people go through a transformation, there is a struggle. There is discomfort. And yes, you got to know when it's discomfort, you grow. Keep in mind that. Let's see here, one more card. Yep, a new beginning. And it's something here you're really wanting. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention for what you truly want. So you might have it. It's kind of what you want, what you don't see coming, it is coming. Full. There is a new beginning. There is a new path. There is something new coming up. Way better. And Spirit says, take that leap of faith. Go forward. Because it's coming. There is coming. And it's coming something here you always aim to. You always like shooting to that particular thing. Star. Although needs some healing. There is healing. But I feel here, whatever was gone here, in a very short time, there is somebody way better, way good, single person, somebody who might even show you your true qualities. They might be very different from what you truly believe you would like, but in a very, very short time, you'll realize they are actually what you really needed and you always wanted for yourself. They might be a little slow with what they do things, but they are very good to you, Aquarius. It's kind of trust the divine movement. Trust the divine order in here and go toward what you truly believe it's right for you. Okay? Let's see here. One advice. One advice. You have one advice from the oracles. Let your past go. Hangman. Take your time if you feel a need to. Four of Wands. So you'll be ready for something awesome in here. Because that's coming. For some of you, definitely it is coming a Twin Flame. There's a Twin Flame and a lesson to be learned. But definitely there is something awesome for you to celebrate too. And to move forward towards. What could be more beautiful Aquarius than this? Take your time. It's okay. Because hangman knows, but doesn't take action. And I feel here, once you're ready, you will take action. This person is not rushing. They're not rushing. They will be here when you are ready. 
Okay, loves, they might come as a page right now, but they are going towards the night. And then it's a Knight of Pentacles, single person, very good person, very good with their energy. They call, very balanced person. It's exactly what you need to. And I feel here that's, that's your hopes towards a balanced energy for of wands and judgment, definitely. Alrighty, Aquarius. Thank you very much for watching, being here on the channel. Love and light to all of you. And I hope this resonates for some of you. And if you really enjoy this reading, give it a like. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. I do invite you to subscribe. And if you're always here, I very much feel blessed for all of you. Have an awesome, abundant, and take care of you this weekend. Bye for now.